folks and welcome to Son of Dell's Christmas Vlogmas Day 22. Unbelievable, isn't it? Day 22. Ah, coming up today we've got, obviously, we've got the Nightmare Before Christmas Advent Calendar. We've got the Harry Potter Funko Pop Calendar. Got the Doggy Advent Calendar. I've got the Coin Club Unboxing Mystery Box. Uh, also, I will show you the second part of my uh, jigsaw, which I've now completed. I told you that the was gidge had been split into two, a sort of before shot, and then what one of the people can see. Well, this time it's what the person can see. And there's a couple of pictures coming up of that. And also, there's a bit of a picture, uh, well, a bit of a video, actually, what Deb did of me yesterday in my little bit of a struggle to do a jigsaw. Um, because yesterday I was sort of having problems with my fingers but uh, I filmed a little bit of it and then I'm going to speed it up a little bit so you don't have to sit through it but it's all connected to the jigsaw anyway uh, and also talking about my day because it's been a bit of a mixed day really so uh, yeah coming up it's the advent calendars The treat time. The treat time. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big biscuit here. Yeah. What are we going out, mate? Oh, what's he got, Jess? What's he got? What's he got? Oh, what's he got? That is inside, not the outside. Another big one. You are being treated, aren't you? It's another big one. Sit. Let's go, kid. Can I pour? Ta. Oh. Ta. Oh. I want one. Pardon? Are you sure? Okay, then. Ah, ah, ah. Gentle. Good kid. That's it, get crumbs all over your mum's nice clean floor. Yeah, sis, it's, look, do your Dyson bit, your furry Dyson. Yes, you look, yeah, yeah. Never mind, your eyesight isn't that good, is it? No, it isn't. Did you enjoy that? Is that a nice treat? Don't you tell your mum move. Shall I go get you a treat, Sue? Clock eight. What? Do a treat? Then do that. <laughs> do you want one? Shall I go get you one? All treated out. Good girl. All gone. All gone. Go lie down then. Probably. Says a well if mum moves. Problem is she knows I've got two more. Oh, I didn't know you got four. I didn't know you got four. Hello folks, welcome to day 22 of the Nightmare Before Christmas Advent Calendar. Yesterday it was the Behemoth, is it pronounced? Behemoth. Behemoth. I'm assuming. Behemoth. I'm assuming. Behemoth. The first character I've ever come across with a cleaver in his head. Not something you associate with an Advent Calendar really, is it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, it is Nightmare Before Christmas. It says Nightmare Before Christmas, yes. Well, you're basically horror and Christmas. Yeah, exactly. Another one, another one. Oh, I can see why. I can see why this one's different. It's zero. But he's all sparkly and glittery. Oh, I can see that on the camera. Can, can you I see it on the camera? It up. I think we flew from the flash on, mind your eyes. Yeah, see, put the flash on it. Yeah, it's all glitter. You can see it with the glitter. Can you? Yeah. He's all sparkly and glittery. He's been dipped in Christmas glitter. Yeah. He looks actually rather cool. He does. Even his pumpkin's got a bit of glitter on it. And that is indoor 22 of the Nightmare Before Christmas advent calendar.
So we're on door 22 of the Harry Potter Yule Ball calendar and yesterday it was Hagrid, I got that one right. I can't think what today's will be to be honest because we, we're still missing Hermione. That's not Hermione. <laughs> that definitely isn't Hermione. <laughs> Actually quite baffling if we've already had this character because he looks like somebody we might have already had. Who's that, Dab? For all the Weasleys could got ginger hair. But why why would you have three It could be the dad? Yeah, Oh, it could be, yeah. Because he works at the store. Yeah, because we had well, we had Ron Weasley, Mr. we've Magic. had George, we've had Fred. So this could be another Weasley. Yeah. And that's in door 22. He looks like he's dressed like a cowboy or something. He's got like a, a saloon jacket thing on, like a smoking jacket. It's the dad thing. then. I'm guessing it's the dad then because he does wear that sort of stuff. With a dicky bow. And that is in door 22 of the Harry Potter Pocket Pop calendar. Now me and Deb think it was a bit of a cop out today in the Harry Potter calendar because it was Ron Weasley again and we've already had him and all they've done is change the outfit. Now when you think of how many characters are in Harry Potter, I know in Harry Potter Lego you have to open up about 80 characters. So for them to repeat the characters I think that's a bit of a cop out. All they've done is take the same character and just put him in a different outfit and I think that's a bit garbage really. I think it's a real cop out. Now the only reason I don't think that about the Nightmare Before Christmas is because each of the three of the zeros that I've had are all different. You've got the normal zero, you've got the one that glows in the dark, and then you've got this one that you can see from the pictures was all sparkly and glittery as if it was covered in snow or frost. So we didn't mind that. So we've only got two days left. Uh, and me and Deb are quite convinced actually that the Harry Potter calendar ones are obvious now. Not the Nightmare Before Christmas, but the Harry Potter ones we think are quite obvious. Uh, but yeah, it's been fun unboxing that. Um, and now coming up, actually, I just want to tell you a little bit about uh, my day. Now my day today. I started off with doing the unboxings and it's not been a bad day really. And we were waiting for a certain delivery come. Because uh, I can say it on here anyway because obviously um, we, you know, the person who these are for... Uh, doesn't watch my vlog. Uh, I think they, I don't think they do things like that. Woo! I just been photobombed by Deb. Did you see her then in the background waving? There she is again. Look. Yeah, the reason what it says is normally when I do my recordings, Deb's upstairs watching TV. But today she's part the way through doing a Christmas baking, and she's doing uh, pies, um, corned beef, uh, corned beef pie. She's doing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Custard. No, I've got custard in my head. It's not custard. Coconut, coconut tarts, uh, and jam tarts. And uh, I'm the chief tasty. Yeah, so my day, yeah, like I said, we were waiting for this certain thing to come and it came. Uh, we've been sorting that out this afternoon. We've got it ready now to, to go to the person, hopefully tomorrow. Deb's been doing baking most of the afternoon. Um, literally, she's been covered in flour and God knows what all, all afternoon. I've just been sitting there. And what my job is really is when there's like um, any dishes in between uh, her, her finishing a baking and starting the next batch, like the silver bowl. And the you know the spatula and stuff like that. I give them a wash and put them out. Uh, but yeah, like I said, today's been a bit of a mixed day really because uh, a few days ago I had a text message, uh, well a missed phone call, sorry, and it was my auntie from um, Small Form where me uh, where near where I used to live in Stoke on Trent, and she'd been trying to get hold of me. And um, I must admit, when the phone when I sort of missed the call, 
and my first thought was, oh no, something's happened to my auntie, you know, because she's uh, she suffered with dementia and she's not very well with it at all at the moment. Um, bless her, she didn't know, I, you know, how old I was. She didn't know that I lived in Blackpool, etc., etc. Even though I only mentioned it a few months back when I spoke to her, and she was actually ringing me up to tell me that I've lost another member of my family. My dad's brother, my uncle Tommy, passed away last week. Um, he wasn't the nicest of people, but he was my dad's brother. He was still my uncle. Uh, he was my mum's boyfriend for a fair, for quite a while as well after my mum and dad split up. But um, it, it's just come. I, I just can't believe it. I mean, in the space of four months, I've lost a mum, an auntie, and an uncle, all in four months. And people say to me. I bet you can't wait for next year. And I said, well, I don't know. I don't know about that, do I? Because I don't know what next year is going to bring. I'm not going to say next year will be better than this year because it could be 10 times worse. I haven't a clue. I don't know what, I do not know what next year will bring. I'm praying that it's better than it is this year, I must admit. But I've had all these things this year saying, you know, oh, you do good luck, you do good luck. Well, I'd love to know when it's going to come around because at the moment, like I said, I'm losing family at a rate or not. Now, you remember me telling you I had uh, more Christmas clobber. This is the second one of my Christmas jumpers. And as you can see, it's a Christmas Avengers jumper. And it's lovely and it keeps you warm and it's all fleecy and all that. And that's the second of my Christmas jumpers. I've actually got a Grinch one, which I don't think I'll be wearing this Christmas um, because it's hidden away in darkish recesses of the wardrobe and the stuff in front of the wardrobe. So we'll never get into that in a million years. Uh, and I've also got my Batman one, my grey one. So I might be interspersing the three over the next few days me trotter one me uh, avengers and me batman one um yeah but other than that like i said today's been it's been kind of quiet really uh, it's been nice because not much has happened it, you know i haven't had many i've spoke to me sister don't get me wrong i spoke to me sister and um she mentioned something which was quite funny actually because you remember me yesterday in our vlog I mentioned that I had a job on YouTube to find the right music. Every time I tried to get the Now Christmas album, it kept playing four songs and then repeating them. Well, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know my sister had done this. She'd done the same thing on the same day. She did exactly what I'd done. She'd gone onto YouTube looking for the Now Christmas album, started playing it, four songs in, it started playing the same songs again. And, and she, she'd had exactly the same nightmare as me. So, um, like I said, I've got Spotify Premium now free for uh, three months. So I'm going to be making the most of that, to be honest with you, uh, playing Christmas music and all that sort of stuff. So you've got to make the most of it, don't you? I won't be doing any more jigsaws before Christmas now, um, because while I like taking my time and enjoying them, and I know that with only two days left of, of normal time, like, you know what I mean? I want to start watching a bit of Tally with Deb, a uh, bit of some, either some of the programs we've taped or even um, some of the stuff which we've got on DVD and Blu-ray. So, obviously, um, if we can start watching some of them, that would be brilliant. But coming up now, I have had my box from the Coin Club, and you are going to see me open it at the same time as I see it, because I've not even touched the box since it come. it's been sitting there. And I thought, I'll wait, and I'll open it on camera tonight. <laughs> So, this is said box, as you can see, still new, still sealed, I haven't opened it, I haven't taken anything out of it, you're going to see me open it at the same time, trusty scissors, well I can get in it. Well, that's the tape off it. Let's see what goodies we've got in here, Alibaba. Uh, well, the good news is there's lots of packing. Put all that down on the floor. Right, the first item is... And I can open it. Excuse me a minute, I struggle with bags. First item is a silver, oh very nice, very very nice actually, a silver Royal Air Force coin, uh, hold on, I'll load it there and you can see it better, 
a silver Air Force coin, and on the back, oh, I'm going to get it out of the lights, I don't want it to go in the lights, if I can help you, hold on, I'll try and get it somewhere so you can see it properly. Um, Royal Air Force, as you can see, it says Royal Air Force, that's the first item, Royal Air Force coin. Second item, oh, it's all good fun, isn't it, this, it's like Christmas Day, hold on a second. This is the beauty when you do an unboxing live. I have got to get in the packets. The second item. Oh, very nice as well, actually. Yeah. Whew. It's actually the Tank Museum. Oh, you can see that. Uh, hang on. Uh, I'm going to try and get a pitch for it. There you go. 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 Uh, hang on. I can't get it. I'm trying to get a decent picture for you, folks. Sorry. Yeah, you can just about see it there. Uh, I can't wait for me to cross uh, out the light. Let's try turning this light off, see if that makes a difference, shall we? Ah, it does actually. Yeah, there you go. Tank, as you can see. And then on the back, you've got the emblem of the tank museum. Oh, shiny. Problem is the light above me, that's the uh, issue there. Probably blinding you now, sorry about that. You can see the tank on it anyway. That's the second item. Third item. There's actually about ten items in here. Third item is. Oh! <laughs> I love it. It's a Guardians of the Galaxy collectible coin and it's. I am Groot. A dancing Groot. I think it's baby Groot that one, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be on it. It's Groot. Groot swinging his arms about. So that's the third item. Fourth item. Excuse me. Another Avengers coin, I think this one is. This one's an Avengers coin. And this one is... Ooh, very nice. War Machine. See that? War Machine. That's another Avengers. That's a gold collectible coin. That's four so far. That's three... Three big coins and one smaller coin. Another one. Like I say, it's like Christmas come early, isn't it? All right, next one. This one is another Guardians coin. And this one is... Oh, Rocket Raccoon. Impressive. Oh, sorry, hang on. Try and get it out the light. Uh, yes, there you go. Rocket Raccoon. Raccoon. Well, it's up high. It might be that actually. There you go. Rocket Raccoon. And it's a Guardians of the Galaxy collectible coin. See the emblem on there? Look. Guardians of the Galaxy. That's two of them. Different. Love it. What else have I got? Oh, what haven't I got? Another tank. This one's the Tiger 2. Another tank coin. See it? Another tank coin. I'll, I'll actually lay these out and take a picture properly for you for tomorrow's vlog. But uh, another one out of the Tank Museum collection. Well, I've actually got one of the limited edition 50 pences and I know who's going to have this straight away. Look at that. It's really the poo and ticket. <laughs> I think Deb might want that in her collection. I'm going to give that one to Deb. What the heck is that? Wow. That is stunning. You know, the uh, first step on the moon. You can see that. It says one giant...
sleep and it's got the astronaut there and on the back in the case it's actually got the coin in the middle see it it's got the coin in the middle wow whoa man this is not a bad box at all this isn't it uh, another 50 pence piece this one is ray out of star wars uh, hang on. let's get it you out the stuff uh, because it's the light shining on it see I'll do that see it like that hold it like that that's ray from star wars I'll probably do when I put the video together. I'll zoom in on these so you can see them properly. I need more, yeah. Next one is a Marvel Comics one. You can see on the back, Marvel Comics. And it's Captain America. The next one is another collectible 50 pounds piece. This one might be a bit of a pain getting. Excuse me. And this one is, oh bless, it's a special Christmas one with Mickey and Minnie on it. You might not be able to see that one, might be a bit tough because it is silver. Silver and it's shiny and it's a special Christmas 50 pence and it's the Disney collection and it's Mickey and Minnie kissing. Under the mistletoe by the look of it, if I hold it like that, you might be able to see it better. Yeah, there you go, that's that one. And I think this is the last item now. The last item. And bear in mind this costs $19.99 for this entire box. That's all it cost. $19.99. That was it. When I can get in it. Not as strong as it used to be. Tell I'm struggling, can't you? And this one is Tumble Down. Uh, hang on, 2nd of April to 14th of June 1982. It's thingy, isn't it? Uh, the Falklands War. Can you see that? You see the point? Yeah, and then on the back, you got the Tumble Down thing uh, there. Look. Tumble down. And believe it or not, that's everything. So, in that lot, I've ended up with, in total, in total, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve items for twenty pound. Twelve items for twenty pound. That's mad. And that is my unboxing. Excuse me a minute. Let me put the light back on. <laughs> Bit of a wally there. There you go. That. Uh, that is my unboxing of the Coin Club Mystery £20 box.
what a bargain that was, wasn't it, eh? 20 quid for all that lot. I'm quite knocked back by that completely. I don't know what to say to that, really. What a fantastic buy. That's the best bargain box I think I've ever had. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, last word today is basically just to say to you all, you know, I hope you're enjoying the vlog. I hope you're enjoying the Vlogmas things. I won't be doing, obviously, a day uh, Vlogmas every single day. You know, I'll be stopping after the tomorrow. Uh, and tomorrow I'm going to um, do a couple, I think, so that I can run them one after another. Because on Christmas Eve, I don't want to really be doing any vlogging or anything like that. I just want to spend the quality time with my wife watching TV and chilling and having a beer or a whiskey or something like that. So uh, it's a bit like a rundown now, if you like. So, yeah, today's been, like I say, it's been a bit of a mixed day. Um, my sister I've been speaking to, like I said, she, she's um, already told her family that are coming up that on Christmas Day, literally, it's social distancing. Yes, she is allowed to have people in and she will have people in, but she's staying one side of the room and they're staying the other because she said she doesn't want nobody hugging or anything, no matter if they're close family or not, because she's, like I said yesterday, she's terrified of catching this thing again. And I think a lot of people are the same. You know, if you've had it once and it's done horrible things to you, you're probably thinking, whoa, you know what I mean? And we only found out about 45 minutes ago another relative has uh, been diagnosed with COVID as well. So, uh, and he isn't, you know, I mean, the rest I've been telling you about have been like in the 50s, etc., etc. He definitely isn't in his 50s. He isn't in his 50s, no chance. Um, he's not He's not old at all, not old, no way near. So, uh, yeah, this year just keeps on giving, doesn't it? Anyway, hopefully tomorrow, on a light-hearted note, things will be different. You all take care for now, and I'll do another vlog soon. Bye for now.